So we are at the beginning of the trail. If you look from this, we have a nice gateway or nice bridgeway to start the trail with. Let's see how long this trail is today. It's a nice day too. This is perfect. I'm kind of cold nature, so I tend to wear a jacket everywhere I go. So that's good. And over there, you got trees, different types of trees here. And over here, we haven't spotted any animals yet, but I'm sure we will. So we are in the middle of the trail. We are in the outer deck. And so at the outer deck, you could see the marsh area, but also back, way back there is a bird house, which is really great because you could spot some of the birds around here. This is, per this is perfect day for bird watching. And this deck is built perfectly. You can sit down, enjoy watching the birds, look at the scenery, and rest till you go walking some more on the trail. We're gonna continue. We're almost at the um, we're at the half mile actually, not almost. So we're at the half of the trail. I'm gonna show you what all. You see all these. Look at all the pretty yellow flowers you come through. And you also, on the other side, there's ferns. Different types of ferns. Let me see if I can find something on this side. But, let's see. Oh, there's a little bit of There it is, over there. But there's some on this side too. And then, on this block, I also encounter what looks like to be wild berry bushes throughout so and we're also on the way you can hear we're spotting birds up there it's really nice i love how they, they made a trail and there's places for you to rest if you are tired midway through the trail there are, uh, there's observation decks and the other deck A lot throughout the um, trails, you notice this, notice this green notice sign that says poison plants. So there is plenty of poison plants this, in this area. So that's why I don't want to touch a lot of things because I don't know which one is poison. Most places will tell you and have a picture of the poison plant like poison ivy. In some places I've seen, they actually have a, a a place and a picture of what the you're supposed to be looking out for on the poison plant. But this one just has poison plants. So I'm not sure which one's poison and which one's not. I just know the one with the yellow flower. I've touched it before and that's not poison. But there's the oh look, there's the fern I was telling you about. There's plenty of ferns around here. Definitely not poison, the curtain. Anyway, and you see how they made a, dr a bridge, it's really nice. The walkway around here is really nice. And it does tell you, there's a caution signs on the trees. It says caution, slippery and wet. And I love it how throughout, if you're tired, you can actually sit down on a bench Oh look, and there's also a feeder over there. Look at that. You've got the bird feeders. Let's see what else we can find. has been wonderful. I've been spotting a lot of birds. I saw bird feeders. I saw actually a lot of, a 
other creatures too. during the hurricane and it hasn't just got cleaned up yet because a lot of damage has gone through this area and other areas. Louisiana has got hit hard this last year in 2021 during hurricane season. So they're doing a good job of cleaning up but it's gonna take a while. I would love to see it once they clean all the trees and stuff. You see how we go throughout? There's a lot of trees that's down. So I'm here at another observation deck. Look at this. So nice. I'll show you. Going up there and show you. It's another great place for bird watching. Watch this. See? You could actually see. There you go. I enjoy this because you could actually you're up high see how high you're up and you could actually see the birds there's plenty of birds to enjoy so if you're a bird lover i would recommend this nature center because there's plenty of birds here that i've seen so far so so we are at the trail another walkway on the trails of course as i said we are doing the outer trails and on this trail you could see some more dwarf uh, pimento which is right over there i don't know if you could see it but there's a lot of there here and the scene is spectacular um this bridgeway trail does close when it's raining and it does get floody so they'll close this part out see this will be closed if it rains because it will get flooded and that's why see but there's there's a place in the middle of the trails that you could actually sit down in. Like here, there's actually a bench that you could actually enjoy the scenery. And up here, you could see, if you're sitting down on the bench, you could see this straight ahead, what the place looks like. And enjoy some bird watching. You will actually see birds and other creatures around since it is swampy. Hopefully we don't see anything we don't want to see today. Or we might want to. But it looks really, really nice. And I'll show you the rest of the trails, there's minnows in that pond here, down here. And on the other side, you get to see different things. So I can see that we are near the end of our trail here. This has been a great run or a great walk. I couldn't ask for a perfect weather. Not too cold, not too hot. And I thought it'd be a, bit, a little chiller, so I brought my jacket. But actually, I didn't need it at all. It was great watching and hearing the bird chirping in the background. I saw some lizards. I saw different types of birds that I can't name. Um, they've got a lot of, of bird feeders here. So here we are. We are back at the gift shop and the entrance. 
as you can see, we have some things going on in the background, like the mine colonies and other areas. So thank you for joining me today with Traveling with Sayo and more. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.